Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks of Geeks. Today in this problem we are going to discuss how to find the length of the largest subarray with contiguous elements. So in this problem you will be given just an array of distinct integers and you have to find out the length of the longest subarray which contains numbers that can be arranged in a contiguous, sub, uh, contiguous sequence. So for example you are given this array 10, 12, 11 then the length of the longest contiguous subarray will be 3 because if we see that if we see the array so all these three elements are actually contiguous elements so 10 11 and 12 these are contiguous elements now we see another example so we have the array as 14 12 11 and 20 so we find that the long, length of the longest contiguous subarray is 2 uh, which is for the elements 11 and 12 now let's see an example with a large array. So you see that the length of the contiguous subarray, largest contiguous subarray is 5 in this case because uh, we find that the elements 90, 91, 92, 93 and 94. So these 5 elements are contiguous. So that is why the length of the longest contiguous subarray is 5. Uh, so important things to note in this question is that first of all that all the elements given are distinct so duplicate elements are not allowed in this problem now uh, to solve this problem we need to understand that if all the elements are distinct then a subarray has contiguous elements if and only if the difference between the maximum and the minimum elements in the subarray is equal to the difference between the last and the first index of the subarray. So if we consider the last example which we discussed, so the contiguous subarray, uh, the largest contiguous subarray had the elements from 90 to 94. So the difference between the maximum and the minimum elements was 94 minus 90 that is 4 and the difference between the last and the first index was 4 minus 0 that is 4. So this condition will always hold true for any subarray having the contiguous elements. So we are going to use this fact and so the idea is to keep track of the minimum and maximum elements in a in every subarray. So let us uh, try to understand the solution with the help of code. So first of all we have two utility methods which uh, takes as an argument the uh, two, very, uh, two integer values which is x and y and they find out the minimum and the maximum values. So they just compare if x is smaller than y, then we return x, otherwise we return y. If x is greater than y, then we return x, otherwise y. So these are the basic utility functions to calculate the minimum and the maximum values uh, when we are given uh, two values as the input. Now we have this method, find length, uh, wherein we will be solving this problem. So this find length, method takes as an argument the array and its size and it returns the length that is integer. We initialize the maximum length as equal to 1. Then we run a loop from i equal to 0 to n minus 1. And what we do is we initialize the minimum and maximum values as array of i. So in each iteration uh, for the, of this loop we initialize the minimum maximum as array of i which will be the first element of the uh, array for that iteration and then what we'll do is we'll consider all the subarrays starting with the index i and j will be uh, changing uh, as we will see in this uh, next loop so we'll consider all the array, uh, all the arrays subarrays starting with index i uh, because of this first loop now the second loop starts with j equal to i min i plus 1 until the time j is smaller than n and we do j plus plus now what we'll do is we'll update the minimum and maximum values in the subarray if needed so because we are now considering the element j so we compare the uh, element at index j with the current minimum and maximum and we update the values now if the current subarray has all contiguous elements so we will now compare we will now basically check that if the current subarray which is starting from i and ending at j has the all contiguous elements 
so we'll be using the fact which we discussed uh, in the previous slide that if it is a contiguous element summary then the difference between the maximum and the minimum will be equal to the difference between the uh, index of the last element and the index of the first element so if this if condition holds true then what we do is we update the max length if needed so max length is initialized as one as you can see here but if the max length is found to be more for this subarray then uh, we update the max length as basically mx minus mn plus one so this is basically the difference between the uh, maximum and the minimum and the plus one uh, so that we don't have the off by one error so this will update the uh, max length so in, by using two loops here, we are checking all the uh, subarrays and we finally return the max length, which will be the uh, length of the largest sub, uh, subarray with contiguous elements. Finally, we have the driver method wherein we have the array and its size. Then we just call the find length method by passing the array and its size and we print out the length of the contiguous subarray. The time complexity of the above solution is order of n square as we are just running two nested loops. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much.